business, business is business. Talking that bread, let me go on here, make a sandwich. When it's time to do work, let me extend the hammer. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jones at 4K bringing you guys another Forza Horizon 5 Drift Tune and Build video. Now I had just put out a post on YouTube saying, hey, if you guys, anybody, would anybody be interested in this car? And I mean, I had a few people immediately respond and they said, yes, I'm going to be honest. I really didn't want to do it because I really feel like nobody would be interested. But you guys like all kind of random, sh you know what I mean? So why not? Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be diving into the 2022 Ford Focus ST. We're going to get into the build, followed by the tune. And then we're going to take it out to our favorite drift zone and see if we can street start a zone and also put down a million points. Let's dive right into it. All right, so without wasting any time, let's dive into the build of the car. So for the engine conversion, I, I built this car with the stock motor. It was kind of meh, kind of lackluster. I didn't like the way the boost came on. So I went with the I went with the, the rally motor. Um, it's a high reference motor and it actually drives it, it, it does pretty good like i got yeah i got really used to it um i had to go out and drive a few rally cars just to try to get used to that motor because trying to build a, a drift car with this motor was kind of challenging but i think I, I think i was able to work out the quirks with this build uh, obviously we swapped it from front wheel drive to rear wheel drive for the drivetrain we got the race six speed transmission we have the race drive line and we have the drift differential on the platform and handling, we have the race brakes. We have the drift springs and dampers. We have the race uh, front roll bar. We have the race rear roll bar. We have a roll cage. And then we have the race weight reduction. And I meant to say we have the race roll cage, sorry. For arrow and appearance, we went with the Maxton front bumper. We went with the Maxton rear, uh, rear wing, which I really like, it's real, real subtle. We also have the Maxon Designs rear bumper, the Maxon Design hood, and the Maxon Design side skirts. For the tires and rims, we obviously using the Horizon Semi Slicks. We have a 235 front tire width. We have a 265 rear tire width. We have a two. Uh, we have a 19 inch rear wheel, and then for the front rim, we have a 19 inch as well. For the rim itself, I believe they are, that's the multi-piece rim style. And we're using the ADV-1, ADV-10R track spec CSs. Uh, they they don't look like great on this car, but they don't really look bad. I was in between and I just told myself, go with it. You know what I mean? It looks, it, it looks, it looks okay, you know? So that's what we chose. Uh, for the front track width, we have it maxed out. I do believe that for, you know, I do believe that turn 10 still needs to add more track width because, you know, uh, most drift cars, you know, especially if you're going like extreme drift builds, you know, and you want to go with extreme angles, you know, if you're, if your track width is like this, you know, sometimes you give a little track width. So your car, when you, when you're counter steering, you don't hit. And I just feel like it looks better. I mean, for a drift car, I feel like it looks a little bit better. You know what I mean? To at least get the wheels tuck, tucked in the fender well, really good. I mean, I'm just, I'm picking, but it is what it is. You know, for the rear track width, we did go out one for our engine. We have the race camshaft. We have the race engine block. We have the race turbo. You can also go with the race turbo with anti-lag. I think it sounds horrible, but we do have the race turbo. And then lastly, we have the restrictor plates, giving this car 668 horsepower and 682 foot-pounds of torque. I'm gonna let you know right now, having that much torque with that much horsepower is actually wonderful for drifting. Heading over to the tune. For our tire pressure, we have 29.5 PSI in the front with 22.5 PSI in the rear. For our gear ratio, we have a 380 final drive. We have a 246 first gear, a 180 second gear, a 147 third gear, a 125 fifth gear, a 109, I'm so sorry, a 125 fourth gear, a 109 fifth gear, and a 096 sixth gear. For our alignment, we're running negative five degrees camber in the front with negative 0.4 degrees camber in the rear. For our front toe, we are running 0.2 degrees toe out with 0.3 degrees toe in. For our front caster angle, we are running six degrees. For the roll bars on the car, we're running the stiffness of 34.2 in the front. And then in the rear, we're running the stiffness of 31.7. For our spring adjustment, we're running 672.4 
front uh, spring stiffness and then in the rear, we're running it pretty soft at 336 pounds. For the ride height, we have it at 6.0 in the front and then for the rear, we have it at 5.2. For our dampening, we're running 10.8 for the front rebound stiffness and then 7.5 for our rear rebound stiffness. And then for our bump stiffness, we have it at 4.8 in the front and then 3.3 .3 in the rear. This car doesn't have any adjustable arrow front or rear. For our brake, brake balance, we have it at 80%. And then for our brake pressure, we have it at 55%. And then lastly, for our differential, we have a lock diff at 100% acceleration and then 100% deceleration. Now I do have a question. When you guys, do you guys think it's beneficial when you put the drift differential on to leave it as it comes? Because on some cars, I've noticed that it actually does really, really well. But most cars, I normally just lock the differential up at 100, 100, at 100, 100. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. But it's going to be it for the build. This is the tune. Let's take it out to the mountain to see if we can restart the zone and put up a million points. All right, guys, we done made it to the top of the mountain. Let's not waste no time. Let's get some heat into these tires and let's send it downhill. I stalled it. So I, I do have a couple of things I want to talk to you guys about before I, you know, before I get downhill, before I start, you know, going downhill. Um, if you guys haven't joined the Discord, you know, please do so. You know, there's a lot of information in the Discord. Uh, I'm, I'm always researching. I'm always researching. So any articles that I find, regardless if it's old or new, I mean, it's 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 knowledge. You know what I mean? And uh, you guys can go in there, you know, read up, you know, read up on yourself. Any you guys ever want to discuss anything, you know, drifting related or Forza tuning related, you know, get at me in the Discord, you know, join the Discord, get at me in the Discord. You know, I'm always willing to help people. I'm always willing to help build cars. Um, I do talk to a couple of comp driver, uh, comp owners and uh, organizers every now and then. So if you guys want to get into some comps, you know, get a hold of me, man. I can I can set you guys up with that. Um, I also have, you know, you know, the, uh, I have breakdowns of the spring rates that I use. I have breakdowns of the gear ratios that I use. I mean, what's crazy is all, all this stuff is accessible from websites. I mean, you can go to websites like wise, wise fab, BC racing, Samsonis, all these, all these places, man. And you can get like, you know, just basic information, like all the gears that I use in my car, there, there are like real life gears. Like, you know what I mean? They're, they're real life gears. I get them from I get them from the website and I, I use them faithfully. I just find a set that works good with the, with the car I'm using, with the power I'm using, with the motor I'm using or in the trans I'm using. You know, um, the website gives you a really good feel for they, they give you really good options for four speeds, five speeds, which forces don't have five speeds and, uh, you know, six speed transmissions. Really, really, really good options. So, you know, be something to consider joining the discord because it's, it's definitely it's definitely it's definitely a place where you can get some knowledge. Um, I'm, I'm in there most of the time. Uh, if I'm not, you can always just reach out to me and I'll join up if I'm free, if I'm not working. Um, you know, it's just just I kind of a lot of you guys that have questions and, you know, you ask questions in the YouTube comments. I try. I really try my best to get back to all my YouTube comments, you know, um, I mean, you guys taking the time out to watch the videos and stuff like that. I feel the least I can do is reply back to you guys. I mean, I'm nobody special or whatnot, and I'm grateful for any any viewership or anything that I can get like that. You know what I mean? Now, there, there are certain comments that I don't reply back to quickly. Like, if you ask me what the share code is and you hadn't watched the video or you didn't read the description, I'm not replying back to you because it's typically in the description or it's typically in the in the video. And if you don't watch the video, bro, I don't I don't feel bad for you that you don't know it. So if somebody else want to somebody else want to give it to you, I mean, more power to him. But I'm not going to respond back fast to that. Watch the video. You know, what I mean, um, I got my Nodi gang. You guys, boy, y'all pop up and show up quickly. I'll tell you that because I made that post and you guys showed up fast. Um, and I'm grateful for that because I was actually back and forth about doing this. Actually, it was only two of you guys that responded before I just said, screw it. I'm going to do this video. Um, this car. I mean, this car, this car is not. This car is not uh, absolutely terrible. As you guys can see, I'm just cruising. I mean, you do have to let it rev up high, though. I will say that you, you got to kind of let it rev out. But I did a million thirty eight thousand. I mean, it's not bad, man. I mean, the car is really the car is really not bad for a little for a little focus, man, with a little rally mode in it. It's it's, it's not bad at all. I've been uh. I, I was driving it for a while before I made that post, and it, it does good. I just, 
I'm gonna be honest, man. The motor choices are just my ears don't my ears don't my ears don't like it. You know what I mean? Like my my ears are not a fan of it. But like if I could two JZ swap LS swap, I would even settle for a Ford Ford motor swap. Any Ford motor that I could put in here, I would ooh, I would take. Like I I would take it because I mean, oddly enough, this platform does really well for a hatchback like this platform does really well like it, it drives really well it sits well it hand, it handles well <clears throat> excuse me it uh it handles well it sits flat man like in the drift it sits flat in the drift i got it tuned. i got it, i got it tuned up right man i i definitely got it i got it tuned up right it's, it's a fun little car like i mean i i spent the time I spent the time to build it and I really didn't think I was going to like it. But when I started driving it, like, like it was snappy. Like, I mean, super, super snappy. This car was like just outrageously snappy, but it, it is a semi short wheelbase car. It, uh, it drive, I mean, I don't know, bro. I just, it's not, a, it's not a, I don't hate it. Like, to be honest, I really, I really don't hate it. Like at all. I, I, I don't hate it. Like I thought that I wouldn't. The motor is the the motor is what what really what really what really just made it kind of hard for me. But like the the suspension of the car and stuff like that. Once you get past the way the motor feels and the way the motor sounds and stuff like that, like it's it's not a bad car, like at, at all. And I I'll you know, unfortunately, if you don't have it by now, you're probably not going to get it because the resets is in eight hours. You know what I mean? So if you guys can tell, I'm up pretty late. I mean, currently for me, it's two o'clock in the morning. Resets at ten o'clock in the morning. You know what I mean? So, you guys should pat me on the back, man. I'm cranking the video out at two o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Who's your boy? But uh, yeah, man, go go get this car. I mean, you got eight hours. If you ain't got it by the time this video goes out, it's gonna be it's gonna be game over. GGs, you missed out on it. And you're gonna be crying because you don't have one of the rare cars. So you know it's gonna be one of those things. But this car's this car's pretty good. Um, there was another car that came out. Um, oh, the Fiesta. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. That car is horrible. Okay. So if you get a video on that car, yeah. Count your blessings. That car is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Didn't like it one bit. I'm just going to be honest with you. Didn't like it one bit. But guys, that is going to be for me. It for me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Like I said, Join the Discord if you guys have questions, man. I'm down to answer questions. Come in there, talk, chat. You know, we we live stream Forza in there uh, a good bit. You know, other games too, but Forza in there. If you got questions, there's a few people that have good knowledge about drifting in there. <clears throat> um, yeah, the, the uh, Discord link is gonna be in the bottom. Join up, man. You know what I mean? Join up. Just say what's up. Like, hey, I'm here for you know Forza help, tuning help, whatever. You know, nobody's gonna clown you. Nobody's gonna make fun of you. You know what I mean? You you get the help that you want. You know, for certain cars that you wanna you wanna get built or you wanna see built or you need help build, you would get that help. This course pretty helpful. Um, I do have younger guys in there. My this course full of old heads. You know what I mean? We're thirty plus, so we're we're chilling. You know what I mean? So you know, come in, get comfortable, enjoy yourself, get some knowledge while you're in there as well. Um, you know, don't, don't be afraid, you know, don't be afraid to join up. You know, I got a lot of guys coming there. I don't care if your English is good. I don't care if your English is bad. I don't care if you can't speak English, but you can, you know what I mean? That we have Google translate. We'll get it together. We'll help. We will help you. All right. That way we can get you where you need to be at. If you look for somebody to make tandems, um, if you are a small con content creator and you, you know, you want somebody to help you with some clips and stuff like that. I have, I, I record videos. I will help get clips of you. Um, I'm pretty, you know what I mean? Hold on, let me show you, bro. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sick with the, uh, you know what I mean? Your boy's pretty sick with the drone. You know what I mean? I got you, bro. Like, I'm in there. Huh? I mean, I'm in there. I got you. If you need somebody, bro, just, you know what I mean? Join up. You know what I mean? Don't be, don't be afraid. Everybody needs help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. But guys, I do love you guys. I do appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the support that you guys have showed me thus far. I'll see you guys in the next video.